Earlier today, I met with one gentleman who actually was violently pushed by one of the unemployed bodyguards. I get in touch with him to ask to ask him so that he can give me his own view about the injured. Yes, sir. I saw that a unemployed gentleman pushed you in front of the British man while the British man was finding his way out. How do you feel about that? Well, it was very terrible to me because it was a surprise for us to see angels coming from heaven between the Lukin Town community down the field. And I met with a very energetic man who shipped me out for him to see the, the uh, this British angel people coming down. And I myself returned and also returned the shifting. So you push him again? Yes. Violently? Not violent. Yes. It's, it was very violent. Eh? It was very violent to me, so I shift him violently also. A okay. or what? Well, I think it is a blessing because this is the first time, and even I myself, it was the first time I saw angels coming from heaven. <laughs> so it's a big surprise to you. So it's a surprise to me and even the people of this community. Okay, have you ever saw such a thing before? Not before. This is my first time. Okay, only in movies. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you also. Okay. I happened to meet with this young gentleman who is a peaceful citizen and who is one of the unemployed bodyguard and asked him why he decided to guide these British people out of this community. Your name, sir? Uh, Mr. Edward B. Kapia. B. Kapia. Yes, sir. I guess you're a teacher. I'm his chair. As a Sierra Leonean and a peaceful uh, citizen of this land, I'm supposed to protect every human being that steps his or her feet on this soil. That's why I protected them on that day. And uh, I've never seen such sin in my life. So I'm supposed to guide them until they are protected. Do you see it as a miracle? Yes, it's a miracle to me because I've never seen such things since. Uh, I've, I've seen them in a, in a film. In a movie. In the movie, yeah, but I've never seen the parachute are coming out of the parachute. So it was a miracle to me. Anyway. Clear, it was a surprising thing to me. Le definitely, I know. I must call them angels coming down from the sky. Okay. Definitely, I know it was a very hard day for you and a hard work for you because I saw you pushing people left and right. Even one of my, my own son was hurt by you and he was lying down there crying, but he never took any notice of that. Yeah? So, yeah, you can talk. Oh, but yeah, I did that one because just to see them that they are, they are safe, their properties are safe, nobody hurts them. That's why so I that's did such a job on that day, okay. which I was not even employed for. I was not even employed for. I was not even paid for that. Okay. So you think the people, the people, the British people will be very grateful, eh? They must be grateful eh? because of what I did for them on that day. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. God bless you. Thank <laughs> you. 